reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. I'm speaking to you today from my office in the administration building on this a gospel reading on the Feast of Pentecost. Today is Pentecost. It's the celebration of the gift of the Holy Spirit. So what is this gift? Let me try to help you understand it the way in which I've come to understand it in these final last weeks. The gospel we just heard is perfect for this time of the lockdown. The gospel says that on the evening of the resurrection, the disciples were hidden away in a room where, quote, the doors were locked. I think, we can relate to, I think we can relate to that. Within this locked room where the disciples were, in effect, sheltering in place, it says Jesus came and stood in their midst. He and his risen reality stood in their midst. Perhaps because of the unique context, the environment within which we have all been living in these past weeks, in this celebration of the season of Easter, I've repeatedly heard that phrase, Jesus stood in their midst. He stood in the midst of the women running to tell the disciples that the body had been taken away. He stood in the midst of the garden calling Mary Magdalene's name. He stood in the midst of the unhoping couple walking to Emmaus. He stood in the midst of the disciples behind locked doors. He stood again in their midst and told the doubting Thomas to touch his hands and his side. He stood in the midst of his disciples fishing just off the shore in Galilee. And finally, he stood in the midst of his friends on the mountain in Galilee, telling them to go and saying, I will be with you always that is, always standing in their midst. So the gift of the Holy Spirit, which we celebrate today at Pentecost, is that the Holy Spirit makes the real Jesus present to us always, so that Jesus stands in our midst, yours and mine and ours and theirs. As Christians, we are not members of a religion of the book, we don't follow Jesus because he's the wisest person saying wise things in the book we read. We do not imitate Jesus because of the example he told in the stories of that book. We're not Christians because we follow his words or his example. Others follow great people of great words, of wisdom, and of great example. Rather, we are Christians because we follow the risen Jesus who stands in our midst, here in our midst, in the Eucharist, surely, but also in our midst, in our homes, our offices, among our friends, when we enjoy nature in our prayer and in our hearts. Go, I will be with you always, always in our midst. Ours is not a religion of following a person, a Jesus of Nazareth, back then. No, it's a following of Jesus of our own times, in our homes and towns and churches and workplaces and prayer and hearts here and now. The only Jesus to follow is the Jesus now, the one who stands in our midst by the gift of the Holy Spirit. So it is through the gift of the Holy Spirit that we celebrate today on Pentecost that Jesus is in our midst, made present by the Holy Spirit. And what does Jesus do in that locked room? It says, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. Why breathe rather than simply proclaimed or said or commissioned? Because he was breathing his very life into them, his Holy Spirit 
into their spirits. Not so intimately he is in our midst and with us. Perhaps in these times we can feel hidden away. We can know more deeply the truth of what St. Paul says, our lives now are hidden with Christ in God. The gift of the Holy Spirit celebrated at Pentecost is the gift of Jesus who stands in our midst, his hidden but always there, unseen but real. He would not be with us in our midst, in our hearts, if it were not for the Holy Spirit. There's the gift we celebrate at Pentecost. Thank you.